before we continue our liturgy, and just say a, a couple of things. The first is that I'm glad you're here. Whether you're in this room or at home, you're here with us because we're the body of Christ and we're all together. When we come together to worship, we literally come together to worship. So it doesn't matter whether you're here in this room or you're over in the parish hall or you're at home this afternoon, you're here and I'm delighted that you can be here. So when we do come together, and you'll remember this from our Eucharistic liturgy, we say clearly that um, we're together with all of the saints and all of the angels and all of the body of Christ. And that's just as true this morning, here today. Uh, I'm delighted that we could be in church again because I know some folks really have missed being here and so we're able to be here. I also know that there are folks who need to stay at home and I'm glad that they're staying at home and that's a good thing. It's healthy for all of us. So, um, I appreciate you putting up with the seating difficulties here today. We didn't learn that very well. We'll uh, send something out to the whole parish and try and get educated about how to, how to do the seating online and how to sign up for stuff. I, I can tell you right now that, that uh, most of you did a great job of making the reservations. We just didn't read the instructions very well. So we'll, we'll send out some notes about the instructions and explain how to do that a little bit better. And I, I, uh, I know some of you saw the offering plate uh, sitting on a table right back there as you came in. And that's exactly where that offering plate is going to stay. We're not going to pass it during the service because that would just mean that more hands are touching more surfaces. And it's the last thing that we need. The safest and easiest way to give to St. Matthew's right now is really through Realm. And you can get there by looking for our donate button on the website. It's on the front page. It says, Give to St. Matthew's. All you've got to do is click on it and you go into our Realm giving. And from there, you can actually give via check or credit or debit card. And you know it, it costs us money to do that that way. But the reality is that people who choose to can, with their check, pay an extra 1%, and that covers that fee. Or with their debit card or credit card, pay an extra 2.5%, and that covers that. You don't have to do that, but it's one of the ways that, that folks can choose to help. So, so having said all that, um, now we'll continue on with our liturgy. So if you'd like to please rise, we'll go through the liturgy. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your grace. I should have I should have told you ahead of time that that everything is on the screen up here. If you don't have it on your phone or an iPad, you can just put the screen up here. And we'll do this. All the parts that you see in bold, you say with me or you say uh, by yourselves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Join me in saying the Jubilato. Be joyful in the Lord, all you hands. Serve the Lord with gladness. We come to the Lord as a presence of song. Notice the Lord is shall to God. He is the shall to save us to heal the earth. We are the people and the sheep of the tribes. Enter into the nations of Thanksgiving. Go into the sports of praise. Give thanks to Him for all my life. For the Lord is there, His mercy is everlasting, and His faithfulness endures from age to age. Our psalm today is Psalm 89, and it can be found on page 713 of the Book of Common Prayer. We're going to read verses 1 through 4 and 15 through 18 together. 
Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set a faithfulness for your name and heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your honor forever. And Truly, I tell you, 
none of these will lose their reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel. He has come to his people to set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant David. Through his principle of the prophets, he promised to hold that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who made us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This is the oath of the Lord to our Father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, and to be flourished in the hour of the year, both being righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for he will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people a knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins.
that we're really interested in them personally. Because that's what welcoming is. It's letting someone else know, I'm interested in you. Just for you. Not because I have something to sell you or tell you, but because I'm just interested in you. That's an important thing. It's hugely important. And welcoming other people makes a difference. I'll tell you, I saw this at work. I saw it at work in Israel. Not kidding. You know, we went to Israel, and there were 45, 50 of us. And aside from our bus driver and Hanania, our guide, and, and to be honest, Brooks Keith from Vail knew a couple of people in Israel. But for the most part, none of us knew anybody else in Israel. Well, that did not matter one little bit to Charlie Cadwell. He saw somebody doing something he was interested in, some guys working on a project. He went right over to him, talked to him. Even though there's a language barrier, what are you doing? How are you doing it? How are you building this? What are you doing with that? Found some way to communicate with them. Found some way to let them know he was interested in them for their sake. And interested in what they were doing. Well, Charlie was walking there before he went. It didn't matter because he found a way to tell other people, even through the language barrier, I'm interested in you. I'm interested in what you're doing and how you're doing it. And because of that, people welcome him. That's our task. We need to find ways to let other people know that we're interested in them, that we care about them. Not because we have something they need or what, just because we care about them. That's what being welcomed is. If we want to convince the community in Parker that we have a great message and we want to share that message, first, we have to convince them that we're interested in them. And then, then we can help them come to know the love of God in Christ Jesus. Please enjoy our hymn.
Alex, Robin, Alex, Rhonda, Gretchen, Bill, Masu, the Rodriguez family, and for all those suffering from the coronavirus around the world, we pray to you, O Lord. The Lord have mercy. For all who have died in the communion of your church, especially Armando Rodriguez, and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. We pray to you, O Lord. The Lord have mercy. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, bless Matthew and all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. So, we're not going to use our kneelers. You're welcome to stand or sit, but we're, we're going to try not to use the kneelers now, um, until we don't have to do church this way anymore. Most merciful God, we confess our sins against you in thought.
That's a good thing. Um, if you want to know more about it, email Kimberly in our youth group email. It's literally youthgroup at smecp.org. And that will get to her and, and she can tell you more about what's going on with the youth group. I know that, that, uh, that there are plenty of us here in the building together and there will be again at 1030. But there are also people at home. They're at home for a couple of different reasons. Some because they choose to be, others because they have to be. But we need to reach out to each other and, and make sure that everybody knows that, that we care about them and love them and want them to be part of our church family. So um, look around and the people that you get to see here, you get to wave back, you don't get to shake hands with or pat on the back or do any of that stuff. No hugging. Uh, that's just what we cannot do for a while. But you can smile, and people can see it in your eyes, and you can wave, and you can laugh. And when, we get to the, when we get to the peace, uh, and we can't shake hands, you can clap, and you can bow, and you can do things like that that, that let people know you care about them. Those are really important things. So do uh, call people and let them know. Um, for those of you who are watching at home, Yes, please call people. Even if you've seen them here on the, uh, at church, call them and let them know. Hey, I saw you. I saw, saw the side of your face. What a nice mask you have. Uh, just let people know that you've seen them, and that's a great thing. Or let people know that you haven't seen them, and, and that you want to, that you look forward to that time when you do that. Um, to that end, I'll tell you about one more thing uh, before I do the, the blessing and, and dismissal. Um, many of you know that Armando Rodriguez died this past week, and, and Armando's death was an enormous tragedy for his family and for us as a parish. Armando has been one of our Sunday school teachers and one of our youth group leaders for several years. He's been incredibly consistent in coming up with just wild and wacky and interesting ways for our kids to get together and to do fun stuff that they never would have thought of. He's been great at helping us with our adults and kids as we've done trivia things with each other. He's, he's just been a, a gift to all of us. His funeral is going to be this coming Friday um, at 11 a.m. I'm telling you that, and I'll send something out to the whole parish and let them know about that. But just like we have to be socially distant in the church right now, that's the way the funeral is going to have to be as well. And so I'm asking Christine to let me know who are the family members and the people that are really important to her to have at that funeral first so that we can get them signed up and they have spots. And then we'll figure out how to open it up to Armando's co-workers and, and friends and stuff like that. And lastly, we'll, we'll try to figure out how to do that. I, I've already talked to uh, Clay and our plan is to be able to uh, broadcast that service. I don't know if it will be live stream or if we'll just put it on YouTube afterwards, but we will find a way for everybody to be able to participate and, and be a part of that service. So uh, that's a, a good thing. Whatever you can do to write Christine or Gabe or Isaac, Gabe and Isaac, would love to get letters, I'm sure. They'd love to get something in the mail. And all they need is just a card saying, thinking about you. Um, there are a lot of things that, that we don't want to say to them. Like, your dad's in a better place. Why would anybody tell a little kid that the dad that they love is in a better place not being with them? Never. So we never want to say that. We do want to say, I miss Armando too. He's really important. I know you must have loved him. He did great things for you. Those are great things to say. Those are wonderful things to say. Now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you now and remain with you always. Amen.
to make sure that I know what I said I'm going to say at the end of this. I do. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.